So welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2, where last time we took on pretty much a whole new galaxy, thankfully. Well, two new old ones. One with Fuzzard and one in the Shiverburn Galaxy. And this time, we're heading even further beyond. Well, not really. We're going back for a Comet Medal within Shiverburn. Er, uh, I keep saying Medal. Level. Comet. Level. Gotta get that freaking head, man. Jesus. So this one's actually not too bad because... It's just a rainbow romp. And also I did recalibrate the controller, so surely it won't be stupid right now. And also, uh, I now realize that I'm a moron because um, the way I do these recordings is, what is it? I separate my main audio from the game audio. No duh, but uh, the way I do that is I like, click through the, the, the game menus and the such. Uh, oh god, please hit this. Okay, I'm going back for you then. So, you know, I flip through the game menus and sync up my audio depending on, you know, how I sync stuff up with that. I didn't do that for last episode for some reason. I completely forgot to do that. So, uh, yeah, I am a big moron. So, <laughs> editing that video is good. Okay, it's just slow down, man. Just walk. So I can get this one and try to get the last few of these. This should not be hard. It's just Mario circling around enemies. All right, let's hit you two, and then there's these two down here. Where are you? There you are. Perfect. It's actually not a bad level for star bit grinding, but good luck trying to get the star bits as you're running around as Rainbow Mario. Grab this, and there we go. Weirdly enough, the star power is the one that's missing out of the engine room within Starship Mario. That's a power-up that just doesn't appear there for some reason. I guess because it's not a natural power-up, it's just a random star thing, but still, it kind of sucks that you don't get to really see it. And Shiverburn, I thought there was another galaxy, or I thought there was another star within Shiverburn. Whatever. One thing I want to mention real quick, and I don't know if this is available yet, uh, no, it's still you. But I remember a while back, I mentioned that like you couldn't really see the backs of the uh, back of that wall. You can if you talk to the Gamble Luma here. Yeah, there's nothing behind these walls, so they never bothered to actually add anything back here. They just put an over slated shadow here for this side of the room. But yeah, if you talk from or if you talk to the Luma from behind, you'll see that you know there's nothing behind you. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, they don't intend to talk to the Lumas like that, but it's funny. Only one thing to do. We're clearing out this world once and for all. I swore there was another get thing within Shiverburn, but apparently not. Bowser Jr.'s Boom, bump, uh, yeah, boom Bunker. I ruined the title because I'm a bad reader. Bowser Jr.'s Boomsday Machine. I had to make sure that that said boom and not doomsday. This place is jam-packed with a lot of stuff and spoiler much. It's the remains of Mega Hammer. Kind of, that's that's kind of sad. Got all these toads here too. This robot thing looks like it could reactivate at any second. Yikes! I sense danger. Shiver. I want to go home. Uh, I don't want to trust going off the side of that. Don't worry, it's broken. No, it's not, you liar. There's also a gamble thing over there if you want to do that. Screw you, electric thing. You're a jackass. I do not want any part with you or your entire life. So, oh god. Uh, Mario, you moron. I was not trying to triple jump. Uh, I forgot the timing is actually very forgiving on that. All right. Hopefully I can spin correctly. I don't know what has been with me in these stupid spins. Like, I really feel like it is user error, because like, I, the weird mode that I've been using, I've been using for a long time. It's not that bad. Anyway, you got the mechanic of this cannon thing, kind of like from Mario 64. Aim to wherever you want, and oh god. Uh, I want to aim to the center. Because if you hit the center, you get a one up. Pretty nice. Now these guys, you can completely cheese. Check this out. You can literally just duck walk on over to them without ever being hit. And 
I never showed that, but you can actually spin while crouching. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. These guys get really screwed by that. Keep that trick in mind for later, because there is a really, really, really good place to practice that. And, well, we're going to need to know how to do that for something later. Trust me on this. Get used to doing that. Now this one... Let's see if I can time this correctly without getting hit by those bomb things. And boom. This one's a little weirder to hit because it's at a slope. Still hit it, though. Bullseye. And we already see our Comet Metal. Uh, hopefully I can spin. All right. And then we just need to go and get a Cloud Power. Although I guess with the gravity, you might be able to just make it. Uh, no. No, no, no. I'm shaking. Jesus. I don't know how much you guys have heard that. I was shaking my freaking arm off. Jesus. Anyways, take the launch star. God. All right, nice to know that my Wii remote is just dying, I guess. It is at 2%, or 2%, it is at two bars of battery left, so maybe that's the reason. Hi, Bowser Jr. You're standing on nothing. You're, oh, you're standing on the bricks there. There's just no shadow. My dad's gonna get angry if I get, let you get another star. Time to break out my boomstay machine. I'll just relax in my com comfy cockpit and watch you go boom. Sure, buddy. With the power of your Boomsday device and the crappiness of my Wii Remote. So, this is the last time we ever get to fight Bowser Jr. This fight's not too bad. Now, granted, he has a lot of tricks up his sleeves. Uh, and he's not even wearing any... Well, he's not even wearing a shirt. What we want to do is go up there and ground pound him. They're, he's kind of similar to... Uh, if we attribute this back to the Galaxy 1. The little mole dudes that are inside of those towers. He's basically just a glorified version of that. He shoots out electrical stuff. I did not, I did not spin there, but okay. He'll shoot out electrical stuff, and then eventually he'll actually start shooting out electricity like that. And I'm just gonna wait, and hopefully, okay. Well, that that worked out beautifully. And if you stand on there for too long, he'll knock you off. I miss times that greatly. So yeah, this is the only annoying part of the whole fight is when he starts doing this suction move thing, because he sucks everything in with it. So. Freaking shake, man! Jesus! Ha! <laughs> I swear to God, this game is gonna be the death of me. All right, that's not good. All right, I'm just gonna sit up here and wait. There's nothing else I can do in the meantime, anyways. All right, and boom, two down. With the magical number of Mario games, it's always three. But now he has a tank form. Yeah, dude. how did you raise that from the ground? Anyways. This just means he's gonna be moving around the stage now. That's, I really long jumped into that, are you kidding me? So yeah, that's pretty much all this means. This fight's really not that bad as long as you're patient. And well, you know how patient I am. Yeah. So, up, yep. you jerk, stop getting rid of my stuff. All right. So yeah, you pretty much just wanna keep climbing on up. I'm not spinning there, why are you spinning, Mario? He spins when I don't want him to spin, and he doesn't spin when I want him to spin. Now I'm all the way down here because I used up a cloud power that I wasn't trying to use. All right, go up here real quick. Of course, I see this point shouldn't be bad, and it's giving me the most amount of issues. All right, jump over here to get this cloud flower. Uh, what happened to that? Okay, head up here. I, I, you saw my cursor. I was not moving anything. This is, and take you out for good. Thinking of the possibility of changing the batteries in this thing is, uh, yeesh. This is recalibrated, too. But there we go. It is one of our last Grand Stars. Let's take it in. If I can actually hit the thing. How did that not hit it? One last world, 
at 87 stars. That's the fifth grand star. I had a feeling you could do it. Next up is the sixth world. And you know that monster is going to put up an even stronger fight now. So let's get those power stars and save your special one. The big fight awaits. The helm is yours, Captain. Outside of a giant black hole. The battle draws near. Do your best, and let's get him this time. Not much else to say there. We're heading into Melty Monster Galaxy. So this world is pretty, well, serious. There's gonna be some pretty hard levels here now. Magnificent Magma Sea. And look, it's the planet that's from, uh, Shiv or not Shiver Burn, uh, the Freezy Flake. Not Free- Not that either. Freeze Flame Galaxy. God. Yes. And, a special thing here besides Ouija. Let's jump off the map here. For there's a secret pipe. Now, before anything here, I want to show this off. So you see, we're in a giant, like, weirdo... Are we inside Venom? What is this? If we jump outside again after coming into here and we check out the first person. Yeah, the giant dome that houses that entire minigame pops up in reality here. It just shows up as a trigger, so it's kind of foreboding if you come back out here. I, don't, I guess the developers didn't expect you to actually come back out here. What's up, chimp? Look, you decided to show up. Step into the house of the chimp. You ready for something new? Just roll over the enemies up ahead. So you game or what? Yeah, let's do it. Is the last time we get to really see you, Mr. Monkey Man? 5,000 points. No time, but you're playing bowling. In which I wish we saw this more often. So, try to get as many strikes as you can. Don't move the left stick at all. You'll be good. It's more or less just a timing mini game. As long as you stick in the middle, you should be good. So, for this, again, just stick in the middle. Don't need to move anything. Up uh, that. Okay, well that sucks. So this one, you have to jump the gap. So hopefully I can do that without any trouble. Perfect. Get another strike. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is where it just starts turning into a timing mini game. So once it moves like that, spin. Uh, I press spin. As, as if it was a button input. I wish it was a button input. Damn it. Uh, this one's kind of weird. It just kind of teeter totters. Try to compensate for that. Perfect. This one's a timing thing too. I'm gonna wait for the next turnaround. Because it takes time for you to roll into the ball form, so that's why you want to start a little early. This one's kind of awkward too, because this one's turning and you have to time it, so. Uh, perfect. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This one's kind of awkward. Alright. Yoink. There we go. And we only need to hit four more for the score, so. Let us do that pretty easily. You can definitely do better than me. I didn't do too bad, though. What? You got 5,300 points? Dear God! Can't give me my star, man. For I definitely oh, do, uh, oh so deserve a new star within a new world. Man, that background is trippy. Not too bad, and look at that. We are literally right up against a giant black hole. And something interesting about this too, is actually kind of cool. Uh, oh, I thought that was a comet level. And we got our next little world here. Everything went back to being linear for some reason. Something interesting about this, I don't know the exact term of this, so I'm sorry if I get things wrong with this, but I'm pretty sure this is what uh, Stephen Hawking actually discovered, but with the amount of energy and stuff that comes out of black holes, that's actually steam coming out of said black hole. 
And that's a real scientific thing that was discovered. So I believe that was from Stephen Hawking. I'll put on screen if I'm wrong about that, but kind of crazy to know that the findings in research of a very intelligent man made its way even into video games. Pretty cool. Man, black holes are freaking scary. Especially since there's the uh, theoretical existence of white holes. Those are even weirder. I digress. But I'm going to end things off there. So next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to be exploring around said giant black hole galaxy world place thing. I don't know. I, that kind of fell apart. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.